the story has so many themes. Which ones resonated the most for you? Obviously, it's again a Boston story, but with such a different flavor. To me, the theme that resonated the most was about how America is a, is, is a unique country in the sense that it was built by immigrants. And not only immigrants, but people who were typically the most marginalized when they first got there. You know, uh, if you were the latest, uh, you know, arrival, you were at the bottom rung of the ladder. And uh, the way that the country was cobbled together piecemeal in this by this patchwork quilt of of people from different cultures and countries, uh, I, I found that really compelling, and I, I found it even more compelling to see to have a story about the white Protestant establishment sort of resisting and pushing back against that uh, in light of recent political events in the United States. It feels feels current. Yeah, absolutely. And I didn't know at all about you know the stories of gangsters and Ku Klux Klan in Florida, etc. Did you discover a lot of things that you didn't know about through the story? Yeah, yeah, that was a really original take that I haven't seen in a gangster film. You know, it was a, it was a, those scenes were really interesting. And watching the movie before our election and then after, it was, it was a, it was an entirely different experience. Really, um, I've heard you say that. If you knew some of the outcomes, that maybe you'd yeah, pull pulled back. Some back. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting how like life imitates art in, in in many different ways, especially in in our profession. Um, it's uh, it's great to direct actors when you're an actor. I think you know from an outside point of view, I think it gives you a, you know much more uh, sensitivity towards the actor. Do you agree? And how difficult is it to direct yourself? You know, actors love other actors. I mean, we spend our lives looking at performances, looking at, at moments. And directors typically look at it you know, from a story from a point to a scene to a moment. And I think actors do the reverse. They look at little moments mm -hmm. and, and find those moments and the poignancy in them and then see how to build around that. And I just am just a fan. I just love actors and good acting and I want to have the actors in my movie be successful, so I, I do my my best to give them as much latitude as I can. Does he? He does. <laughs> he does. Yeah, you know, he does. He sets he sets the stage for you to be free. He kind of mm. he gives you wings to fly, which is uh, it's not it's unfortunately it's unusual. It doesn't happen all the time, but when it happens, it's a great it's a great feeling, and you want to uh, you know do your best and give him the, the all you can give. I, I always think that I miss classical Hollywood. I love those films like this one, you know, like the success of La La Land this year. Do you think it's a it's a time where it's nice to revisit uh, what we always loved about Hollywood, the big screen classic? Yeah, I hope so. You know, that's definitely what inspired this. And you know, La La Land's a great example of bringing back the old musical. And, and this is uh, bringing back sort of the old gangster genre picture. And, uh, you know, these, these were what... Oh, these movies were what Hollywood was built on, what Hollywood was made on, you know, musicals and, and gangster stories. And uh, th that was the blockbuster of, the, of, of old. And now, you know, you got to wear a cape to be in a blockbuster. And uh, I don't have anything against capes, <laughs> but uh, it's, you know, it's, it's nice to be part of a kind of a throwback, an homage. Yeah, absolutely. Favorite gangster films growing up, you know, of the old kind? Oh, Godfather, yeah, yeah, Once go, Upon go. a Time in America. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, obviously The Godfather 2 is probably the best, I don't know, the best movie ever made, if you could say such a thing, but it's it's up there, you yeah. know, and Goodfellas, and, and Angels with Dirty Faces, and Public Enemy, and Scarface, and, you know, we have this great and rich cinematic tradition of gangster stories, and uh, I'm not sure why they're so, like, rich to mine, but they, they are.